Welcome to the module body image, which is MC2636. Um, in, I want to give, at this point, um, a, a run through the module handbook, a brief overview of everything from what we're going to cover, um, what's expected of you, um, what we need to do and when and so on. So, first of all, the blurb from the module handbook. This module focuses on the body in media culture. It examines the relations between bodies and images, from our own body image to media images of ideal proper and improper and foreign bodies. Um, I think this subject area is important because media representations of bodies have ethical, cultural and political dimensions and consequences. The module examines the relations between body and image in a range of ways, such as studies of the way that identity relates to body and image, or body image, historical studies of the ways certain cultural practices, for example, things like bodybuilding, dancing, exercise, martial arts, emerged in the wake of um, media technologies, for instance, photography or film and so on. The ways that various media have imagined or constructed images of different kinds of bodies in different ways at different times, and the impacts and roles of media images on body images and lived bodily practices. So, I am the person who teaches the course. My name is Professor Paul Bowman. I do have an office and office hours, but during the pandemic, uh, we won't be using the office or the office hours, so they will be online you can email me for an appointment i'm currently using zoom we could use other platforms if need be now this year the module will be de delivered slightly differently to in the past inevitably but i'm trying something a bit different so the lectures will be on mondays they will be live straight away every monday from eight o'clock you can watch them at any point uh, on a Monday. You can watch them in advance if you want. You can get there before Monday, but refresh or watch for the first time or the second time on a Monday. They will be chopped up into sections. Some are longer, some are shorter. There's a different, a range of different presentation styles. Sometimes there's conversations between me and another academic. Sometimes it's just me doing this. Sometimes it, there's different, I've used different ways of, of delivering the lectures. Um, for the diversity, some you might not like as much as others, some you might love, da, da, da. but I thought diversity, you know, variety of different approaches. So that's Monday. Watch the lectures on Mondays. On Tuesdays, we're going to have a live post-lecture Q&A discussion session. That's questions and answers, Q&A, um, which will be online at 11. Um, the idea is that a lot of what is lost in not doing a real-time or face-to-face -face lecture is your opportunity for asking questions. Um, so I'm giving you that opportunity on Tuesday so you can watch the lecture on Monday, you've got all day to think about it, you've got the next morning to think about it. I'm inviting you to either turn up on Zoom with questions or email me a question or two in advance and I'll go through them. So that's a QA and a session. I'm bringing nothing to the party other than waiting for you to ask me questions and I will I will answer them. So that's Tuesday. Then the seminar will be online on Zoom, Zoom, until um, further notice. That will be on Wednesdays, okay? Monday, watch the lecture, have a think about it, email me a question or turn up on Zoom with your question. Q&A on Tuesday, that might last five minutes, 10 minutes, 45 minutes. We'll see how long it lasts, depending on the number of questions, okay? Um, so I've, I've explained all of this in the in the module handbook. Um, and if you can't attend, if you have any extenuating circumstances, let us know as soon as possible. I will I will reiterate this um, information at different times and diff in different ways across the module. But what are we going to do? So the question is, what are we going to do? So we have 12 weeks of the semester, 12 weeks that we're expected or allowed to have content in. Actually, that's less than that because one of the weeks is a reading week. 
Okay. Week one, this week, introduction and key concepts. This is the introduction, then there'll be a break. Next lecture section is key concepts. Okay. Week two is um, called building the body. Building the body part one. Week three is building the body part two, because there's a lot about the concept. This is not just bodybuilding, by the way, although bodybuilding is implied, uh, obviously, in that formulation. But the idea of building a subject, building a person, making, moulding, forging, whichever um, set of metaphors you want to use for the body, concepts and metaphors. Um, Followed by week four, which is called inhabiting the body. Now, this is a play on words, because in the middle of the word inhabiting is the word habits. Habit, habit, habit. So we're going to be looking at habits and the concept of habitus. This is Pierre Bourdieu's concept, habitus. Um, so that week will be... Um, it's kind of a guest lecture in a sense um, because it's it's some it's not I won't be giving the full lecture I'll be I'll be framing it in different ways but it's an expert called Gassan Hag who will be um, delivering that I'm just taking that from uh, online but it's the best that I found and I'm happy to to follow Gassan's uh, expertise. Week five is the university reading week. So this is a week where you, it's about halfway through the module, you have time to consolidate, to think about your essay plans and your presentations and things that you might not have been working on yet. This is your week to bring it all together and start, for this module, um, pulling things together in terms of what you're going to be working on, how you're going to be doing it. Okay. Week six is called classing the body. Again, play on words, class classification, and beyond. Week seven is um, called Imagining the Social Body and the Body Politic. This is more focusing on the questions of society, the body in society, the body and society, society imagined in different ways for different reasons as a body. Week eight is called Embodiment, Technique, and Spectacular Bodies. It's about being in the body, representing the body, skills, techniques, masculinity, femininity, gender, and so on. These themes, these themes have been present from the start, masculinity, femininity, gender, sexuality, and so on, um, ethnicity and class. But this week we're going to be looking at them more directly. Then we've got the Easter recess. Uh, so that's three weeks of Easter holidays where, uh, will I be? yeah, you will be able to work or not work depending on how you structure your time. Okay, you take some responsibility for your involvement in the in the module and when you're going to actually work on your work. Week nine is called deconstructing. This is after Easter. Called deconstructing East-West bodily traditions. Week ten is called the modern ancient body. The idea of our fantasies about ancient bodies and our our attempts to reconstruct them in the present. Week eleven is the final talk week. And that's called Disembodiment, Visions, Spectres, Monsters, Monstrous Bodies, Horror, um, Ghosts, Bits and Pieces, Fragments, Deconstruction again. And then week 12, you're invited to um, essay planning tutorials. Okay. Key dates. You've got three pieces of assessment that I will run through in a minute. The first piece is a presentation worth 20%. Those of you who've done my modules before will be familiar with this assessment schema. Presentation, essay plan, final essay. The essay plan and the final essay can be linked together. Essay plan is forming your ideas, getting feedback off me. Final essay, um, you can build up based on the feedback you've had from me and your sense of how, how it's looking in terms of grade and so on. The presentation is separate, different subject, focus on a different thing, different questions. You can deliver your presentations to me via a link to YouTube or Vimeo or wherever between 8th of February, that's week two, and the 8th of May, which is week 11, I think. Just, uh, yeah, yeah, it's the Friday of week 11. So you can, you can decide when you do your 
presentation. Some people want to get it out of the way as early as possible. Some people want to wait for a specific week. Now, what I'm recommending you do for your recorded presentation is you wait until the week that it is most pertinent. You can watch the lecture, you can attend the Q&A, we'll have the seminar, then you might want to go off and do your presentation in light of all of that. Or you could just do it based on your reading and your uh, viewing of the lecture material in advance. Okay? Essay plan. Same deal. The submission portal will open on the 8th of March and it will close on the 19th of April. So you can submit your essay plan any time between the 8th of March and the 19th of April. Some people in the past have been confused about this open-ended period of time in which you can submit your work but think of it like you know checking in for a flight you can check in early or you can check in at the last minute it's up to you you can just check in whenever it's convenient 8th of March 19th of April essay plan submission of final essay I'm opening the um, submission portal on the 3rd of May so that is week 11 because that's the end of the taught component we end in week 11 so you can submit anytime between the 3rd of May and the 17th of May which is um, I think it's the Monday of week 13 okay so you've got you stagger you can stagger you can organize your um, submission and your work according to your other deadlines I'm trying to build as much flexibility into the system as possible okay so do the reading watch the lectures, engage with it, think of some questions to ask me in Q&A, come to the seminars, I'll ask you questions, we'll talk about different themes. Okay, so normally I would ask at this point any questions, but there will you can email them to me or you can turn up at the Q&A to discuss them, okay? So I've got a list in the handbook of skills and learning outcomes and and whatever but we'll spend a little bit more time on assessment this is also in the module handbook so in the if in doubt if in doubt module handbook okay that's where the answer is don't just panic and email me don't ask around on Facebook or, or Instagram or Twitter or wherever don't don't just check the handbook it's probably in there if not ask me okay most queries that I receive from students most the answers are in the handbook you won't believe me and you'll, you'll email me and I'll say it's in the handbook. Anyway, um, so three pieces of assessment, 20% presentation, five minutes, 20% essay plan, 1,000 words and all in, that's the total number of words. Final essay, 60%, that's just the written part of the essay. The bibliography could be another 1,000 words if you want, you know, it depends how many books you use to reference it, okay? Um, if you fail your module then you can resubmit and the assessment is the same either presentation essay plan final essay some or all of them depending on on the extent of your uh, needing to resubmit okay so for your presentation here's how you do it you read the weekly overview of all topics for all weeks and select a topic that most interests you something from week one to week 11 okay Choose a specific question and specific topics to explore in terms of key questions and approaches of the module. Then run it by me, drop me a line, ask me in a seminar, ask me after a seminar, have a tutorial, whatever. We agree all of it and go, oh yes, that, that, that works, or maybe do this, maybe do that. Then you research, you compose, you record and submit your presentation uh, after the relevant lecture or seminar. Uh, so, for example, if your topic relates to the lecture of week six, you submit uh, after the seminar of week six, okay? So, you can record it via any means. I'm currently recording this using iMovie. You could, you could use Zoom. If you set yourself up a Zoom meeting, you can, you can share your screen and you can record it. There's lots of ways of, of doing it. Zoom is probably the easiest. But any software that you're familiar with, you can use um, QuickTime, you know, lots of ways to record what's on your screen and or your face and the audio. Okay. 
I would say at this point any questions, but um, you can't. And then when you've done all that, you can upload it to YouTube, have it as unlisted, not private. Unlisted means that anyone can access it if they have the link. Send the link to me. It won't show up publicly. It'll still be your presentation that only you and people who invite to view it can view it, okay? Um, don't spend too much time in your presentation on long clips or, or, or really long quotations or anything. You've only got five minutes. So just focus on your argument, your analysis, maybe a, a very short clip or some visuals, nice slides, whatever. And refer clearly and directly to the key themes of the module. Don't overrun. It's five minutes. You can record it once. You might go on too long or not long enough. Just record it again. That's it's it's five minutes. It, it, you know, get it right. Submit the best version that you do. Do a few versions. OK. Assessment two, essay plan. Again, you've got this window of opportunity for, for submitting. Um, again, read all the subjects, read all the weeks, look at the lectures, look at the reading and then compose a question with specific examples. Be specific. OK, and it should be a different topic to your presentation topic. Run it by me, check with me. I'll give you some, probably some suggestions or say, yeah, yeah, go for that, that's fine. So then you compose your essay plan, you identify a topic that you'd like to develop into a fight in your final essay. You propose a title. Title doesn't have to have a question mark at the end of it. It can just be an analysis of such and such. State what your hypothesis is, you know, that's what you expect to show. I expect to, to, to see or argue or demonstrate. I expect to see that this interesting case study um, suggests something interesting about the status of this body in society or this body in media culture, okay? Um, so you identify a case study, precise case study, a precise example, the thing that you are going to analyse. And in, by what approach? What is your theory or the theories or which week does it relate to? What type of scholarship? Make sure it's relevant to the module, relevant to stuff that's on the syllabus or stuff that you agree with me as relevant, using a relevant approach that makes sense in terms of kind of media, communication, cultural studies. Um, and then in your essay plan, you outline the, the kind of development of the argument, introduction, main body, conclusions, you know, what's the structure? What will your essay look like? Introduction, first I'll analyse this, then I'll compare and contrast with this, conclusion, okay? Maybe, that's one, that's one possible structure. The structure is up to you largely. And then propose a bibliography, the key texts that you propose to use or explore to help you further when you come to actually do the final essay. So at this stage you might just identify the most relevant text. You might have found a really great film and a really uh, interesting article about it and take it from there and add a few more that seem relevant to it. And then you submit it um, or turn it in. Okay, thousand words total, start to finish, or all, all words counted a thousand. Final essay that comes at the end, that's 60% of your grade. And for the final essay, you your bibliography can be as long as you like, and the main body of the essay, that should be 2,000 words. Yes, there is a 10% leeway, 1,800 to 2,200. Um, don't go over or don't go under that. That's plenty of, of, of room for manoeuvre there. Don't count the words in your bibliography. I'm interested at that stage in the essay content. Your bibliography might only have a few books in it, or it might have loads, depending on, on how you've worked and how you've used them, okay? Present it well, you know, 12 point line spacing at 1.5 or 2, make it look nice and neat and tidy, present it very well. Use the Harvard referencing system. It's easy, right? It's easy to use the referencing system. Don't be scared of it. It's easy, okay? Um, and then we'll get feedback to you. 20 working days is, is the aim, hopefully hopefully sooner. Uh, certainly with the presentation and the essay plan, I try to get that feedback to you um, quickly so that it's useful to you. Presentation feedback, I'll give that as soon as, as soon as I've watched the presentation, I'll, I'll write it down so that I don't forget. 
And the essay plan, as soon as you submit the essay plan, so if you submit your essay plan really early in the module, and I give you the feedback quite quickly after that, then that gives you loads of time to act on that feedback. If you leave the essay plan to the last minute and submit it, you know, just as check-in is closing, um, then I won't have as much time to, to mark the essay plan and you won't have as much time to act on, on the suggestions that I've made, okay? So in the module handbook, you will find information about plagiarism and, and not plagiarizing and feedback and, and so on, okay? If you have any problems, contact me, Joe Mix student support, email. If it looks like you're facing difficulties of any kind that might cause you problems and might slow down your working or um, mean that you can't do the work or that you could only do it, you, you know, it's not going to be as good quality or something, you let us know in advance, as soon as possible or in advance, okay? Um, so you keep in touch with us. We want you to do well. We want to, we, we don't want you to fail. We want you to engage with the module and be stimulated by it and, and, and um, enjoy it, okay? Um, and we want to help you. We don't want you to fail. So that's why there's so much information in the module handbook. We're always there to be asked questions. We can have, we can't currently see you face to face in the same room very much or as yet. We shall see how that goes as the module goes along. Um, but there's plenty of information in the module handbook and on Learning Central. Um, so read them, read that, watch the videos. And I will end this um, little lecture introductory section thing now and digest it, think of any questions, write them down and I'll have a break and I will now then move on to introducing the content of the module, okay?